Joining me on the podcast right now from the Bucyrus Police Department is Bucyrus Police Chief Neil Ossenheimer. Hello, Neil. Hello. Thank you for having me today. Well, thank you for coming in. It's a, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff going on. Summertime's almost here. We're not very far away. You got some events coming up, right? Uh, you know, the big car show. Let's start with the big car show. Yep. Our the Cruising with the Cops car show is coming up on June 8th. Uh, the early registration is underway. I think we're up over 130, 140 cars already. So, I mean, that's shaping up to be a, yeah. good, a good event again this summer. Like I said, Saturday, June 8th. I hope uh, as many of your listeners as possible join us in, in downtown Bucyrus to, to see some uh, pretty amazing cars. It is. I, I was out there last year. I got to help out. It was a good time. There's so many people out there and so many cars and, and nice cars. It's just a lot of fun. Right. Oh, yeah. That's a... Uh, you know, when you go out and you pick cars or you pick the best in show or the best Chevy, mm -hmm. um, there's so many nice cars out there that there's probably any 20 or 30 different cars could win any of those prizes and nobody would argue with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just really neat. It is neat to see them. Uh, there was a, a gentleman from Marion that we met last year, and he had like a, it was like a 37 or 38 uh, Ford, and it had like the little tiny back seat in it. Uh-huh, right. Uh, he was up on the square. Super nice guy. He gave uh, my family and I, you know, a ride through town. Oh, that's cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just, just a great guy. Just a, that's such a fun event. I mean, it's yeah. so many good, you get to meet so many good people. You do. And they come from all around too, don't they? They do. Like I said, that guy was from Marion. Um, like I said, I can't remember the gentleman's name right off the top of my head, but he's mm -hmm. from Willard. He comes every year. Mm -hmm. And I think he's pretty much told his wife, you know, do not schedule right. anything for me, you know, a vacation or anything. So I'm going to be Cyrus for the car show. Well, yeah. And he has a <laughs> he has a fifty five or fifty six Chevy Bel Air. Mm. It's like a baby blue color. Just oh, I saw that last year. Beautiful car. Yeah, that's a nice car. It is. Uh, like I said, he's here every year. Good. Well, yeah, he has been for at least the last three or four. Okay. Yeah, and well, I think we'll be out there doing music again, and I think we make announcements for you guys, and do all, and just go out there, and we'll take pictures and stuff, and put them up on our website. And mm -hmm. It's just a lot of fun. It's a good time out there. It is. And then we also have Safety Town coming up. Uh, the registration for that is uh, underway as well. Uh, this year's Safety Town is going to be June 24th to 27th. Okay. I think we have th uh, 30 kids registered oh, so good. far, I think is what Jenny told me. And then she said we have room for probably about 30 more. So okay. if you have a child that's going to be entering kindergarten in the fall here, then they're, that's the age we want to get them into Safety Town. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's usually a pretty fun week. And there's a there's a lot of work for us to, to build up to it, but uh, the kids that seem to have a lot of fun and yes, it's, and I like to I like to think they learn some stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope that's the that's the hope. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, exactly. Yeah, it's been going on for many years, has it? It is, and it's always been a good event. Yeah, and uh, very 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 positive. I can't really think of any anything that mm -hmm. isn't good about Safety Town. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anything else happening in the uh, the police department? Anything else coming up or going on or? Uh, no, nothing, nothing too much. Just business as normal. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we did. We were able to find a used car. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of kind of funny. It's like you know, I was approached about um, B. Wireman's canine car mm -hmm. that was having some transmission problems in it, and they changed the fluid, and it seems to have kind of held it off for for right now yeah. but it's like when you have a car with a hundred thousand miles and right. then you're looking at a costly engine repair i mean it's time to consider whether mm -hmm. how much money you're going to put into an old vehicle like that yeah um how, how long, i don't know if i ever asked you this how long is the average life of a, of a police vehicle of a, of, a, of a you know a patrol car or whatever we, we've done pretty good here yeah. in the city of Bucyrus of keeping you know back when we first passed the safety forces levy in 2013 we mm -hmm. bought um, a fair amount of cars, but mm -hmm. they're all 2015s. We yeah. still have five or six of those left okay. from that first batch that we bought about almost 10 years ago now, and those are all getting some pretty good mileage on them, a lot of engine hours, a lot of mm -hmm. idle hours, and things like that. So we've been cycling some of them out and getting them in with new ones. So we've made those last anywhere from eight yeah. to 10 years, but we were fortunate at the time when we was able to get that many because we could assign two people to a car. Mm -hmm. So you didn't have like one car that was get, being driven, you know, yeah. 24 hours a day. So they had a little bit of that, you know, set time and it kept the miles down off of them. That was how we've been able to keep them like that. Mm -hmm. um, generally you get hopefully 
five to seven years out of them. Okay, you yeah. Know, and it's kind of one reason we're trying to replace them is to get these older cars out, get something new in, and then I'm hoping that we can keep them from you know, seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. The, you know, something that we keep them here. Yeah. Um, this vehicle that we just came up with, well, the the Dodge Durango's there. They're about I think sixty three thousand dollars to buy one oh, yeah. new, yeah. and that's out. That's everything outfitted in them, and that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of money for anybody. I mean, it's you know, especially the city here. We, yeah. We try to be good uh, stewards of the money that we're entrusted to spend. Right. Well, you guys, um, you end up buying you bought a used vehicle, haven't you? We did. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's we haven't got it yet. I'm. We need to, I think, wait till the next council meeting for, yeah. for the appropriation to be final and everything, but I, I believe that it will be. Yeah. And that was about a third of the cost of buying a new Dodge. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, a, it's a 2018, mm -hmm. and like I said, for Wireman's car, with the we knew the maintenance was coming up on it, and we're gonna have to, we, we knew we were gonna have to do something with it. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna try to get them replaced here at the, or budgeted for for next year. But when this one came up, I mean, it had low miles. It's the same body style as what his canine car is. Mm -hmm. So all the equipment will fit into yeah. it. So we can take it right from his old car and put it right in the new one. Oh, good. Yeah. And, we, and that'll save us about probably six to $7,000 right there mm -hmm. because we won't have to buy the new, uh, the canine equipment is there's a lot to it. It's expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I said, there's a compartment for the dog. There's a person in control. There's the sliding door. Mm -hmm. um, you know, generally the weapon locks and everything like that are mounted different in a, in a mm -hmm. canine vehicle. So it does have specialized equipment and that doesn't transfer from model to model. Right. It's like it's made for each one. So by using, getting this used car, we're gonna be able to get him a car with less than half the miles that his has. Good. And we can put everything right in it. I mean, mm -hmm. it was kind of a no brainer, you know? And yeah. When I brought up the opportunity with the service director and the auditor, I mean, they both seemed uh, uh, pretty pretty excited about the opportunity to to get a piece of equipment that we need and mm -hmm. and save some money. I haven't talked to you since the uh, the big tornado here in town, but you guys were really busy that during that time. Yes, um, we were. Mm -hmm. uh, I, was, <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than yeah. that. Now, yeah. You know, I came in. It was it was probably a, by the time I got in here, it was probably an hour after I had gone yeah. through. Yeah. And, yeah, there was there was a lot of destruction and a lot of trees down and homes damaged and including our building. And, yeah. yeah, your guys' building yeah. got hit pretty hard. It did, yeah. And then like so just all over Rensselaer Street here, right in the in this general area. Mm -hmm. um, but when I got here, like I said, it only been about an hour, and I came down East Street here, and you could see down Rensselaer Street, and there mm -hmm. was, you know, everybody was out there cutting up the trees and stuff already right. to try to get them out of the road. Uh, yeah, I think I I mean as. You know, I know there's a lot of, you know, property damage and stuff, but I mean, nobody got hurt. Right. No, nobody lost their life. I mean, so that was great. And yeah. then the, I really think that it brought out the best in our community and our citizens here. It was like you saw in every neighborhood that this tornado went through, mm -hmm. there was people outside helping each other clean up, mm -hmm. uh, working hard. I mean, it was, it was very good to, to see that. I mean, it just shows that this is a great town, that people here right. uh, truly care about their neighbors and, I don't know. It was just great to see. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Like a lot of stuff going on. Again, when is the big car show? The car show is June eighth. And get your get your uh, pre your yeah preschooler signed up. If you're going into kindergarten, uh, signed up for uh, Safety Town, right? Yep, yep. We've got about like so thirty more thirty more slots available, and like so we love to have you know as many kids as we can go through the program. All right. Chief Austin Heimer, thank you so much for coming in. It's always a pleasure to hear what's going on with the uh, Cyrus Police Department. Yeah, no problem. Again, thank you for having me. Thank you. There you go.